have another moving update and I have packed a lot. That's why there's going to be a lot of echo in this audio. It's because, um, you know, a lot of the furniture is gone and, and the empty space does have a lot of echo. So that's what's going on here. But uh, anyway, this packing update is for the Death Star. Now, the video that came out, I believe the video before this, it could have been the video before the video before this, if you get what I mean, um, show it was Lego uh, taking apart a Lego Death Star, right? Now, that video was not a moving update, as it said in the description. It was just a time lapse of me taking away apart a Death Star. Now, here, like, if you want to see the experience, go ahead and watch the video. Though, here, the, the kind of footage you're watching now is four times the speed of a, de of a time lapse of me taking apart the Death Star. Yeah, so four times the speed of regular time lapse. And, yeah, I've also sorted all the pieces. So, it's kind of like preemptive building. Now, here's the thing. Lego sets have bags, right? Lego Ninjago City has a couple bags, you know, you can take them apart, take the pieces apart, and that's so that you don't have to sort through thousands of pieces to build the set. In the Death Star, however, bags build on top of each other, so it's going to be super hard to sort through 5,000 pieces to build the set again. So what I've done is I've sorted the pieces, and I have sped up that to times four the speed of time lapse as well, which is the situation for the person watching now of me taking the death star and it's going to show me like sorting pieces i've sorted plates i've sorted uh bricks i've sorted by color and it came into seven different bags as well again to see at the end but uh anyway because this oh yeah and the reason i sped it all the footage all the footage up first of all it's not regular time it's time lapse and then even time the reason I did that was because I didn't want this to be 20 minutes like it would have been. So, I, sorry, it would have been, I believe, oh yeah, it would have been 20 minutes. And that's just way too long for you guys. So, I sped it up so that it all takes in 9 minutes. Because I wanted it to take under 10 minutes or there. So, that's so it is pretty much sped up. So, uh, now, just while you're watching that. Footage. I also have to say, I made the instructions for all my mocks, and sadly, the Millennium Falcon mock, which ironically was the one that I was most excited for, that, that's the one that I really, like, that's the mock I most care about in my collection. I don't know what happened, but half of the instructions are missing. I have half the instructions for the base, but then half of the instructions for the Millennium Falcon mock are missing, so I think I'm going to have to you know, redo it. Though my mid scale in the Lightning Falcon, so many people liked it and it was my favorite mock, so that's super unfortunate and I'm going to have to try to kind of build backwards, maybe look at my old videos and try to see how I can really build it. And uh, so in my gap from when I went on a trip and then from when I was packing and doing the garage sale and all that, if you guys follow me, you know what I'm talking about, it was around a month and a half that I didn't do any news videos covering new sets, like my latest one was the Stranger Things set. So I just want to take some time because this is a 9 minute video to talk about those. So uh, let's start with city sets then. For city, the space theme, I'd be really happy that they brought space back and it's way fresher than I thought. I thought, oh, it would just be the same old thing, but I don't know, it's a really fresh wave and uh, I think I'll get the people pack, the little starter pack that will be at Lego stores. And, um, yeah, the last one that I really liked from that set, from that wave, sorry, or that sub-theme of the city wave, uh, was th the, um, city space station, yeah, so, uh, but that's kind of pricey, you know, it's like 60 bucks, maybe on sale, I don't know, and maybe they have, like, double VIP points or something. And, by the way, speaking of that, VIP points, it used to be spend $20, get $5, like just kind of credit, but now it's super cool. It's spent one hundred dollars, get five dollars credit, so it's always double VIP points. So that's really cool that they did at the beginning of this year, I believe. But anyway, uh, so that's all I'm planning on for the space theme. Now let's talk about the regular city sets. I love the donut shop in that kind of eighty dollars set, but I don't know. I don't like the construction vehicles like I do, like I don't with any of these kind of big assembly square type sets, but. Uh, I'm definitely going to get the people pack. I always get all the people pack. I didn't miss out on the one from 2018, though I ordered that. It's just not with me right now. It shipped to my new house, which 
again I'm going to move to at the end of this month. So yeah, I'll get the people back and maybe one other small set, I don't know really, but that's all my plans for City. Uh, what else do we have revealed? Oh yeah, Harry Potter set. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of sad that I didn't cover those, but now I guess it's too late, but um, I'm getting all of it. Like the Harry Potter wave is so amazing and they've been doing it. They, they are keeping the consistency, which is why it's my favorite theme. Although I do have to say Habitat is kind of overpriced and the kind of Bobotan carriage, if you guys saw that, it got revealed with the graveyard set. The Bobotan carriage is like, I don't know what to think about it. Like, it's just so odd. I'm 60 bucks, I think, or 50 bucks. Like, we get, it's from the Goblet Fire. So we get two out of the three, three casts. Like, we get the Hungarian Horned Tail, the Dragon Cast, and we get the Graveyard Duel. But then we don't get the kind of thing with the mermaids, the second task. Like, come on, we need that task, and it's much better than getting the Boba Tom carry. So I'm kind of sad about that. But I guess I could use, like, the $20 Justice League Aquaman set for the task, I bet. Yeah, that's just an idea I had. And, uh, yeah, the Batman set that I didn't cover either, because that got revealed while I was on trip. Uh, the Tim Burton style Batmobile for 30 bucks is okay, and the small set is also okay. I don't think I'll get any. No endgame spoilers, but the endgame sets are super inaccurate, so uh, I think like I'll get Iron Man Hall of Armor, and I've already ordered Compound Battle, but I think I'll get Iron Man Hall of Armor as well, and yeah, that's pretty much it, and let's see, there's, oh yeah, um, there's one more thing, it's the LEGO Dimensions, I don't know, I've just been thinking recently about getting LEGO Dimensions, I know that a lot of people thought it was, it, 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 is pretty unpopular, but I don't know. I feel like if not the game just for the Lego physical stuff, like figures and all that. But I'll be um, trying to uh, let's hope that I actually win. It's going to be tomorrow sometime, but yeah, we'll see how that works out. Um, okay, back to my sorting pieces, which is what this video is basically about. Because we got like, for this audio and the video. Um, it was actually not as tedious as I thought. The tedious part was color sorting it. Like, you saw the big trash can. By the way, the trash can is completely clean, I swear. The only thing that ever went in it was Lego bags and boxes. So very clean. I wouldn't, har uh, I wouldn't dirty my Lego bits. But anyway, that was the major hard part, you know, kind of sorting it by color. The, uh, and, you know, by plates and bits. But then it was kind of fun. I, I could lie that. Um, it was kind of fun to kind of sort all the plates. I don't know, it just wasn't as bad as I thought. And uh, there should be another moving update coming soon. Probably in the next couple of days. I still gotta like make videos for a lot of other stuff. And then that video should come out very soon afterward. And by the way, I used around 80, not, yeah, 50. 50 Ziploc bags just to sort all the Ziploc. Death Star pieces, and, he, and I will admit, like, it could be considered wasting Ziploc bags, but not really, because once I build the Death Star, I'll have all those Ziploc bags, and then we could just use them for something else, you know, after one month. It's just temporarily to pack up my Death Star, so not really wasting, but yeah, uh, that's it for this video, and um, yeah, so I got the Death Star done. The next thing to do is tidy up a bunch of little stuff and then prepare for the garage sale, which is gonna happen in, in a couple of days. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon.